New at 11, a stretch along Military Highway in Chesapeake floods just about every time it rains. It has become such a problem, a tow truck driver called 10 on your side for help. He spoke to Jason Marks. Jason? Nicole, at first glance, this could seem odd. A tow truck driver wanting to fix a problem. You see it right there that has given him plenty of business. But John Edwards says it's not about money, it's about doing right. I can pump it up. Five years ago, All right, hold it. John Edwards opened Creek Auto Repair on South Military Highway in Chesapeake. All right, that's good, Auto. There's a lot of stuff that, that people need money for other than a repair. These days, some of Edwards' repairs are coming from right down the street. A spot on Military Highway just short of the Gilmerton Bridge, which is providing plenty of business. I'd rather not make any money than to make money like that. Edward says every time there's a hard rain, the road becomes covered by water. He shared with us these photos of last week's storm, wanting to see if something can be done. The last one last week was the worst I've seen. That it had actually encroached through the first lane and into the second, probably over halfway into the second lane. And it was like that for a couple of days. There's like this giant puddle in the middle of the road. It's like taking up my whole lane. I didn't really have time to avoid it. Jonathan Will blew out his engine driving through the water last week. The college student lost a car he just bought a month ago. It really sucks for me. I'm not happy about it. So, I mean, you would think they would have done something about it by now. Chesapeake officials say they've known about the problem for years but wanted to see how construction at the Gilmerton Bridge would impact the road before doing any sort of fix. Construction is now nearing its end. The city will come out and put a sign up that says high water. What they should do is put a sign up that says no fishing from your car. Will's car now sits waiting to get fixed at Edward's shop. A thought this mechanic can no longer bear. I see the people's face, you know, when you, when you have to tell them that their motor's blowed up. Something he believes could be prevented. It's just something needs to be fixed. Now, most times there's a small sign sitting along the road letting drivers know about the high water. Now, I didn't see that sign today. Jonathan Will says he didn't see any signs when he ran into the water last week either. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. Chesapeake City officials tell us they plan to take a close look at South Military Highway to see what changes can be made.